This video is going to look at some of the differences between animal and plant cells. Animal cells have a um, membrane, they don't have a fixed shape necessarily. Um, they have a nucleus, mitochondria, ribosomes, all stuck into a cytoplasm. Um, so it's an animal cell. The cell membrane controls the shape of the cell and controls um, what is let in and let out of the cell. The nucleus contains genetic material um, surrounded by a membrane. Um, there's chromosomes in there and they're made of DNA. Mitochondria are in all eukaryotic cells and including animal cells and they're where energy is being released through the breakdown of glucose. Uh, ribosomes are where protein synthesis occurs, take messages from the nucleus and turn them into protein. The cytoplasm is where all the chemical reactions happen, and plants have cytoplasms as well. Plants also have um, nuclei and mitochondria and cell membrane, but they have some other free cellular components that we'll look at. So this is an animal cell, you can see the cell wall starting to shake, take shape, there's a vacuole there, um, chloroplast, as well as mitochondria in there. So that's the plant cell. The cell wall is made out of cellulose and provides structure to the plant cell. All the cell walls together provide a similar function as the skeleton does in our body. Chloroplasts contain chlorophyll which can absorb light which the plant uses in photosynthesis which happens inside the chloroplast. Um, and makes glucose from carbon dioxide and water. The vacuole is a storage um, organelle which contains cell sap.